is up, ninjas? Ready for the best Shopify apps? I know I said that I was gonna do the top three, but I always like to over deliver to you guys. So we're gonna do a few more than three, but these are my favorite apps for getting more sales immediately in your store, which is the most important part. So the first one is called Hurryfy. A lot of people have probably heard about this one. Um, it kind of gives a little sense of urgency for your store. Everybody kind of uses urgency. You know, it's today is the last day for the 20% off sale. Um, make sure you get your, you know, final Christmas deals, Black Friday, right? It's just kind of human nature to appeal to scarcity. Um, it's in a lot of books uh, that I've read on kind of the power of influence and persuasion and things like that. And it simply works for my specific store it actually increased my conversion percentage by 4%. And as we know, it is only $6.99 a month. So literally on your very first sale, it's paying for itself. So if, if you get one additional sale, just literally one, not 1%, one additional sale per month, it pays for itself, it gives you a free trial. It's very easy to set up. We, we do go to you know extreme detail on exactly how to set this up in the best way in the Shopify uh, Ninja Masterclass. But this is one of my favorite, favorite apps um, just for kind of assigning a little bit of scarcity for your buyers. Um, the next one is called Sales Pop by Beekitting, and these guys do a great job. Um, I recommend just looking at their entire store. They really understand kind of the buyer psychology and you know the, the Shopify um, customer credentials and kind of the demographics. So what Sales Pop is is um, it's similar to a couple apps. You know, Use FOMO is another one. Uh, Proof is another one. Um, have you ever been browsing a website or something like that, and you've seen a little pop up in the bottom left hand corner that says, you know, Kevin in Queenstown, New Zealand just bought this amazing widget. Um, and so, you know, it kind of just shows you, it gives people kind of the idea that other people are buying this as well. And nobody likes to be the first one. Nobody likes to be the first one to review a product on Amazon. Nobody likes to be the first one, you know, to like a Facebook page. Nobody likes to be the first one to buy a product. They like to see that other people are doing it. Human beings kind of just have a crowd mentality. Um, it's just like walking down the street. Um, and if you see a bunch of people looking at something, you're probably likely to look at it too. So um, this is Beekitting's version of Sales Pop. It just basically says, you know, Anthony Roberson in New York just bought this product also. So people say, oh, well, other people are buying it, right? It appears beautifully both on uh, desktop and on mobile, and it makes a huge difference, guys. And this one is absolutely free. And that's why there's probably 8,000 reviews here, just because it simply works and it's a very, very effective product. Um, the next one is called Frequently Bought Together. So for those of you who know anything about Amazon, obviously I have a little bit of experience there. Um, Amazon is the biggest, most influential platform for e-commerce ever built in the history of the universe, um, <laughs> obviously. And so what they kind of pioneered, or at least kind of spread into widespread adoption, is the idea of frequently bought together together. So what this kind of means is if you have multiple products or multiple different um, kind of products in the same niche or sub niche, um, it shows what is frequently bought together. So like, let's say for example, that you had a, a camera store. So this would be, you know, like your Canon camera and it would say frequently bought together and it would have maybe a camera strap and a camera bag and a camera lens and a camera cleaner or something like that. Right. And so people don't know what other kind of complementary products are also, you know, nice to buy with the product that they are purchasing. And so the frequently bought together section says, oh, well, you know, other people are doing this. That seems smart. I might as well get all of these things that I need all at the same time. And it increases your average cart value by a ton, which is extremely valuable for you, obviously, as a seller. So the frequently bought together section is absolutely great. Um, and as we can see here, this one is, you know, a very cheap again, $5.99 per month. Um, and they have a 14 day free trial. So this is definitely a good one to use guys. Um, and it's black belts, which is representative of the ninjas. Um, but I don't have any affiliation. I just use the, the product myself. So, uh, the next one is called spin a sale. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Wheelio or spin a sale, they kind of were the pioneers uh, of this particular, uh, particular niche. Um, it's kind of the next evolution of pop-ups. So a lot of people don't really like pop-ups. They're kind of annoying. You immediately close them every time because they don't really add any inherent value in themselves. Um, you know, sometimes people will offer you like a percentage off if you enter your email, but people are just kind of so tuned out from it and so against it by now that they just kind of close it out of habit without even looking at it. Spin a sale and Wheelio kind of revolutionized that by bringing in like a nice, beautiful kind of spinner pop-up that has kind of like a wheel of fortune type feel where you can literally win, you know, 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 
20% off coupons literally just by clicking this little button and entering your email to claim it. And so this does a couple things. First of all, number one most important thing of building a successful Shopify store is an email list of interested customers. So you collect emails. Number two is you're actually giving them a discount code that they can use in real time, which incentivizes them to actually make a purchase on your site. And number three, everyone loves gambling. Everyone loves, you know, some people love it too much, but everyone loves the game of chance. Everyone loves, you know, winning things. Everyone loves kind of just little games like this. So it does, it appeals to three human emotions, um, all kind of at the same time, all of which are helping your business. It's getting you more sales and it's collecting you email lists and people are having fun instead of being annoyed by your pop-up. So it's probably one of the most important apps of all of the apps that I use. Um, it integrates directly with both Klaviyo and MailChimp, which we will talk about next, um, which are your autoresponders. This is how you send emails to everyone. So an autoresponder for people who don't know basically just means if you have 100 people who sign up to your email list, instead of you know going to Google and, and Gmail and typing 100 emails to these people, autoresponders send you know mass amounts of emails all at once. So it'll send the same email to all 100 people who you've collected. So let's talk about this. Um, MailChimp, there's two kind of choices here for your autoresponder for Shopify. The first is MailChimp. Very easy to use. It's free up to, I think, 2,000. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can send 12,000 uh, emails a month and 2,000 subscribers completely for free, which is absolutely incredible. Um, they understand the value of building these templates to people. Um, and you know, once people start to build more and more subscribers, it becomes more and more value to them. And they already have their templates built out. And so they don't migrate away from the platform. So MailChimp very intelligently allowed you a lot of value completely for free kind of to build market dominance. And so MailChimp is extremely easy, very intuitive. I go into a very, very... Um, detailed uh, kind of explanations of how to set up uh, abandoned carts, right? So if somebody's coming to buy from you and then, you know, their dog pees on the floor or something like that, and then they close out of their window because they're mad at, you know, poor Rover who's peeing all over himself, uh, and then they lose the cart, right? And so they, they were going to buy from you, but something came up and they weren't able to complete the transaction. So MailChimp has a capability of what's called abandoned carts, where it's it automatically sends emails to people saying, hey, Kevin, you know, you had this awesome uh, drone uh, accessory in your cart in Shopify. Um, did you want like to? Did you want to buy it, right? And then you can send follow up saying, "Hey, we noticed that you had this in your cart. We wanted to offer you like a 20% off coupon to come back to us." And so it really makes the biggest difference of anything you can basically possibly do on Shopify is setting up your autoresponder, your email marketing, and your abandoned cart correctly, all three of which are possible and easy to do. And I go into very, very detailed step-by-step um, -step exactly how to do this in the biggest way that's going to give you the biggest uh, results in the Shopify Ninja Masterclass. So that is the choice number one. This one is a little bit more attuned to beginners. Um, it's free for you know most of the things that a lot of beginners would need it for. You know, Once you get past the 2,000 subscribers, you start to pay which is you know, very fair from an autoresponder uh, perspective. The one that's a little bit more advanced, it's a little bit more uh, advanced from you know, an intuitive kind of setup perspective, you can do some really advanced stuff with it, um, but it's only free up to 250 contacts where MailChimp gives you, you know, 2,000 subscribers. And so Klaviyo is a little bit more advanced. If you already kind of have a store that's working, you already have, you know, generating some revenue and you're okay with paying slightly more um, kind of from the start for the, these capabilities. And it allows you kind of to do a little bit more, you know, directly integrating with Facebook advertising and just a few more advanced uh, topics. And if you guys want me to go into a, a video, you know, on really advanced email marketing, I think it's probably the number one thing that differentiates beginners who aren't necessarily making as much as they want to on Shopify and you know a little bit more advanced people who are making significantly more because once you have an email list guys it's just completely night and day you can click one button and you can send an email and you print money. It's literally like having your own bank and when you press one button, all of a sudden, you know, your 100 people in your email list or your 1,000 or your 10,000 or your 50,000 or your 100,000 people are reading this email and then, you know, even if you're converting at 1%, it's just money flowing in. And so email lists are incredibly valuable, extremely, extremely profitable and it's what differentiates people who are making a ton of money online and people who aren't necessarily making as much. Um, the next app I want to talk about is called Conversio. So Conversio, and it used to be called Receiptful if you've been around for a while. Conversio is a cool little app um, that basically uh, 
instead of just sending the normal kind of uh, receipt that Shopify automatically sends out when people make purchases from your store, it sends out a little bit more fun of a receipt. So it automatically will generate discount codes and it'll say, hey, David, you know, thanks for purchasing that awesome drone that you bought today. You know, as a way of saying thanks for shopping with us today, here's a coupon for 10% off on your next purchase within the next two weeks. And so it does this all for you. It's all automated um, and it, it automatically sends out emails and then highlights the discount code to kind of try to you know get additional value out of each customer because anybody who runs an online business knows that the cost of a new customer is exponentially higher than the cost of selling to a an existing customer that you already have and who's already bought from you before it's just night and day difference and so receipt or excuse me conversio makes it very easy to actually convert more pre-existing customers just simply through the receipts um, and through the discount codes that you're distributing there. And they're pretty good. They'll, they give you a, one of your main dashboard features. They'll show you, you know, Conversio made you this much money this month just through receipts. So, you know, if you can generate an additional $19 a month from this app, then it is worth it. And it's, it's obviously doing that for um, all the stores that I run and that I use for it. Um, you know, it does it within a, an hour or, or, you know, much less than a single day. But if you're just starting out, the $19 price might be uh, steam high, but you know, they give a 30 day free trial. So it's definitely worth checking out and setting up. Um, and if you want more details about exactly how, you know, to set up Conversio to get the maximum conversions, um, I could do a, a kind of a more detailed uh, video on how to actually set up these apps. Or as always, it's obviously available in the Shopify Ninja Masterclass, which is available in the description. Uh, the last thing that I want to talk about, um, so Facebook chat, is the future. Messenger is the future. It's the future of customer service. It's the future of email marketing, right? The people who are understanding ManyChat. ManyChat is the most valuable thing that you can possibly pay for right now, in my opinion, online, bar none. I pay, I think I pay $60 a month for, you know, a 10,000 plus, you know, quote unquote email list where I can send broadcasts, I can create sequences, I can answer customer service um, requests and how this works. And so just, just because I wanted to make this a little bit more beginner friendly, we're going to talk about Facebook chat by, again, by beaconing this, this company's absolutely makes a killing. Um, but many chat is a little bit more advanced. You can do a lot more with it. It's for people who are kind of have a little bit higher of a budget and are really scaling for the future. So eventually I'll probably make a, just a complete video on many chat cause it's unbelievably valuable. It's crazy. It's where it's, it's where the future is going. It's moving away from email and it's moving into messenger bots and that's what ManyChat is. So if you guys are interested in me doing a ManyChat video for Shopify just in general, leave me a note in the comments and I could do, you know, just a super in-depth kind of tutorial for beginners on ManyChat and how to utilize the unbelievable power that ManyChat gives you. But for now, Facebook chat is just a very simple kind of version of some of the things that ManyChat allows you to do. And what this is, is it'll give you this, it gives you this little pop-up, you know, both on mobile and on desktop. And if somebody has a question and you might think, you know, my product's really simple, you know, I only, I only sell t-shirts or a golf club or whatever it is. You have no idea the number of ridiculous questions that I get and my virtual assistants get every single day saying, you know, hey, is this uh, is this golf polo going to uh, shrink in the wash? Um, I'm allergic to cotton. Like, is this going to be OK? Or, you know, somebody might say, is this would this golf club fit somebody that's 5'10 or can women use this? Like you just you don't understand how many questions people have. Um, and they're just, they're very close to buying and just that little final human touch of having a virtual assistant or answering these your, uh, questions yourself gives you such a huge advantage from a conversion perspective, um, just giving them those, that final little thing. Because one of the biggest things that I've learned from using these type of apps all the time is that people are often one little answer away from making a purchase, whether it's you know a ten dollar purchase or a hundred dollar purchase or a thousand dollar purchase, people just have these little kind of you know uh, questions in the back of their head, and if they get a human being who's there and they feel that kind of personal touch and they get their final little question answered, their conversion rate goes from you know one percent to fifty one percent with the a five minute conversation. And having a, I have you know virtual assistants that I use full time for all of my Shopify stores to just answer customer service uh, queries. 24 hours a day and it has been one of the number one biggest factors for increasing my conversions and so the last thing that I want to talk about uh, really quickly is uh, Google Analytics so this is Google Analytics for one of my sites um, we see that there's 15 active users 
right now. But what we're what we're uh, curious about here is um, what's called the e-commerce settings. And so e-commerce settings is one of the most important things that you can do for your Shopify stores. It gives you all types of information about you know what pages people are most often visiting, how long they're staying on those pages, whether they're leaving your website from those pages. So maybe they're getting to your cart and then they're kind of confused and they leave. And if you notice a pattern with that, then maybe you spend more time you know making your cart more clear. Maybe you're maybe there's an error on your cart page that's not allowing people to proceed and everyone's uh, leaving your website, right? You would never know these type of things unless you actually enabled your e-commerce settings. And so this specific website is not an e-commerce site, and so I don't have it enabled, but all you have to do is go into your Google Analytics, come down to e-commerce settings, set up your Shopify store, and then just click enable here. And you can do some really advanced stuff that I go really in detail in. It's, it's a little bit more complicated, so I'm not gonna do it all in this video, um, but if you guys are interested, you know, I'm happy to do that. The e-commerce settings that Google Analytics gives you completely, beautifully, synergistically integrates with Shopify. And so at the single click of a button, you can get all of the analytics that you possibly need to completely optimize your store from a customer perspective and from a conversion perspective. And that's going to give you the information that you need to make very important, profitable decisions. So those are kind of the apps that I like to use, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you do me a huge favor and click that little tiny subscribe button, the red one, slap it directly in its face, and hit that little notification bell so that you stay up to date on all of the ninja knowledge that's going to be dropped every day and all in the future guys so i hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you on the next one <music>